about why Peppa Pig's speech is so crisp, easily understandable. It's because Peppa Pig has aced the rules of English pronunciation. And the best part? Peppa Pig can aid you in mastering these rules too. Welcome to an exciting journey, understanding English pronunciation through cartoons. Notice the way Peppa Pig, with her distinct British accent, stresses on each syllable, every word accurately. That's exactly how English pronunciation rules. The next time you tune into an episode, try to mimic her speech, and you notice a remarkable improvement in your own English pronunciation. So buckle up, because Peppa Pig is not just to entertain, but also to be your guide in the world of English pronunciation. Now let's delve into the oceanic world of SpongeBob SquarePants as we explore the rules of English vocabulary. This idiosyncratic yellow sponge demonstrates an extensive usage of English lexicon, from phrases like I'm ready to I'm absorbent. These phrases exemplify the rule of word order in English and the use of adjectives. As we venture into Bikini Bottom, keep in mind it's not merely about entertainment, but also a unique way to understand and apply English vocabulary rules. Let's spotlight Dora the Explorer as an outstanding example of English sentence structuring. Each of her adventures is not only delightful, but also forms an immersive learning experience. She presents the audience with simple English phrases and questions, such as, can you find the big red hill, or do you see the bluebird? This is an effective method to understand and learn the rules of sentence structuring and question framing in English. Recall the iconic duo, Tom and Jerry, Absolutely you do. This timeless cartoon, despite being largely non-verbal, serves as an excellent tool for teaching English phrase rules. The written text that pops up on the screen during the episodes, such as the end or to be continued, provides a perfect opportunity to understand and learn the structure and usage of common English phrases. Let's embark on a journey with the Magic School bus. Guided by the eccentric Miss Frizzle and her class, we delve into the realm of engaging science quests all delivered in straightforward, uncomplicated English. Her oft-repeated mantra, take chances, make mistakes, get messy, does more than simply entertain. It serves as an excellent example of the imperative form in English. Using this animated series, we can better understand the rules of English imperative form. The Magic School Bus skillfully blends education and entertainment, turning an English lesson into a delightful adventure. While watching this cartoon, Pay close attention to how characters use command structures in their dialogues. These are excellent examples of the imperative, where verbs are used in their base form to give orders, make or offer advice. So, the next time you're aboard the Magic School bus, remember, it's not just a joyride, it's also an English class. Enjoy the journey and learn with fun. And, in this scene, we'll bring together all the grammar rules we've learned so far through the adventures of our favorite cartoon characters. We'll start with a quick recap. Peppa Pig taught us pronunciation, SpongeBob SquarePants expanded our vocabulary, Dora the Explorer helped us understand sentence structure, Tom and Jerry familiarized us with common English phrases, and the Magic School Bus gave us a crash course in the imperative form. Now let's see how much you've retained. We're hosting a fun, interactive quiz where you'll face questions from each of these cartoons. Here's the twist. All the questions will be posed by the cartoon characters themselves. So, get ready to match wits with Pepper, Spongebob, Dora, Tom, Jerry, and Miss Frizzle. Remember, this isn't just about winning. It's about understanding and applying what you've learned. So take a deep breath, put on your thinking caps, and let's dive into the quiz. Best of luck, everyone. Answer the questions, learn from your mistakes, and most importantly, have fun. This is not just a quiz, it's a journey through the world of English grammar. So, are you ready to board this fun-filled ride? Let's go!